Hi friends! We are on our way to Bruges this weekend in Belgium. So excited. I can't wait for chocolate and beer and fries and waffles. Mm -hmm. And I am so excited to find all of those. We're going to do another walking tour so we'll let you know kind of any interesting facts we find along on that. It's honestly one of our favorite ways to explore the city um, because you can ask any questions you want. They give you kind of insider tips. You're not wandering around, you know, aimlessly by yourself. <laughs> so it is, it's a nice way to start your tour of any city. So we always try to start with that. We might miss the one today. So we'll probably aimlessly wander today. And then um, we're gonna do one tomorrow. So we're really excited to bring you along um, to Bruges with us, so stay tuned. Also, the hunt for uh, good coffee still continues. We got our espresso maker um, in the air shipment, but I haven't been able to make any espresso yet. I just haven't gone down that road of plugging it in, making sure it works, all of that stuff. Um, so we got see these guys, the little <laughs> Starbucks to-go coffees. I'm really missing all of the the coffee in America and the drive-through coffee because we can we actually have a really good coffee place um, right near us, but it takes forever for them to make coffee, and so it's like we we're already running a little behind this morning. I didn't want to go and wait, you know, 10, 15 minutes to get two coffees to go. So we gotta get that espresso maker hooked up on my to-do list. Well, we are in Bruges. So exciting. Um, also, it's very chilly here because it's on the coast. <laughs> so we need to put on some more layers, maybe do some shopping. But one of the things that Bruges is known for is its lace, which I did not know. I just read about it. Um, but check out this map behind me. I'm gonna show you. It's all made of lace. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's a map of Bruges made out of lace. absolutely gorgeous we are right on the canal mm. the view is unbelievable I'll leave a link um, down below because I can't pronounce it so <laughs> what's the name of it uh, I don't know how to pronounce it Borges Hoff <laughs> Borges Hoff yeah we're not sure so I'll link it down below for you guys but I highly recommend staying here it's a little dated but here's the view which is why we got this place in the first place So we just got done with our tour of Half Moon Brewery um, here in Bruges and it was amazing and you get a blonde beer at the end and it was so, so good. Um, the tour was really fun. You climb up all of the, it's like, there's a lot of levels, there's a lot of stairs. So if you don't want to do that, don't do the tour. Um, it was a bit difficult. Derek carried Zoe. Um, but we managed just fine and it was really cool to hear about their different process and how they have like modernized with the times. Um, which is really neat. They're actually the only brewery left in Bruges. So we highly recommend the tour. It was really, really fun, totally worth the Euro, and you get a blonde beer at the end, so it's a good day.
good to me. This is amazing. I just got a caramel one. <laughs> caramel. So good. They're so crisp and soft and hot and just delicious. I am in heaven. All right, so Nicole decided to go to bed. I was hungry for some french fries, so I came out and got some specialty Brews french fries. So where I am, I'm in the big town hall square of Bruges at night. And what you're supposed to do is there's these two little kiosks. They have apparently the best french fries in Bruges. You're supposed to eat them as you walk around the street. Serve them with mayonnaise and salt. <laughs> and uh, as a little pro tip, have the one on the right side. We'll see how they are. I'll show you. Oh my goodness, these fries are amazing. Look at it. Crispy brown, filled with mayonnaise. I asked them what makes the fries so good, and they just said Belgium. <laughs> it's just, it makes the fries amazing. One of the great tips we learned on our walking tour is this symbol right there. See, I'll zoom in. Hello? That's where you want to go to get the best chocolate. That means it's artisan made by actual chocolatiers in Belgium with Belgium chocolate. So if you're in Bruges or anywhere in Belgium, look for shops that have that symbol outside of it. That means it's handmade by chocolatiers.
let's talk about why Bruges is as beautiful as it is. It's actually because the Industrial Revolution never happened there. And that's because the people of Bruges um, had an uprising against a king that they did not like. He raised the taxes and they didn't care for that, so they kidnapped his best friend and him and locked them in a room in, near the town square and they beheaded his best friend in front of him. And so the king was like, okay, okay, fine. You want lower taxes? Fine. So the king left the city, came back with soldiers a couple days later, and said, people of Bruges, as punishment, you have to take care of these 250 swans to show symbolically how sorry you are for beheading my friend. And then you also, all that trade that comes through here is gone. He took all the trade away. So Bruges became a really impoverished city. And so the Industrial Revolution never came to Bruges because there was no reason for it to. And eventually the town was discovered by artists and poets and tourists who loved the way it looked, looked like time stood still here. So the people of Bruges realized, okay, well this is our way to make money. And so um, they capitalized on that. And now no one in Bruges is allowed to mess with the outside of their buildings or anything like that. They have to keep them looking the way it looked um, because that's why people come here. So that's why Bruges is as beautiful as it is. Kind of a crazy story, but that's what the guy on our walking tour told us. Okay, so we just got done on the boat tour. Highly recommend it. It was awesome just to see um, Bruges from another side, from all the canals. You get to see all the back of the buildings. They talk a little bit about the buildings and everything, which is really fun. Um, but it's just neat to see it from a different perspective. So I highly recommend it. It was very, very cool and not that expensive. Totally worth it. So we are at the old chocolate house, having hot chocolate. Oh yeah. And it's absolutely delicious. Highly recommend. It's our last stop for the day. And it's amazing. So worth the wait. There was a line out the door downstairs. It moves pretty fast. Um, it's a pretty small tea room up here for hot chocolate. They serve a bunch of desserts and waffles and everything too. We just stopped and got the hot chocolate. And it's so good. I got the Winnie the Pooh. And it was chocolate with honey and lavender. And it's so delicious, the lavender's not overpowering at all. It's like a okay, really chocolatey at the front end, and then like a nice hint of lavender and honey at the, the tail end. It's so good. century. Um, it's meant to be a big bell tower for the city where they can keep an eye out. So it's a bunch of stairs. <laughs> 330. Fun to find. So we'll show you when we get to the top. Some of the other bells. It's really pretty. You can see the city spread out there below you. I swear. I might be making it up, but I think you can see the North Sea. But in any case, it's a beautiful view. Beautiful morning. Alright, we're coming down the Belfry Tower. So this is the main tower in, in Bruges. Uh, it was used as like a city center for a long time, a outpost looking point for seeing danger. It was built in the 12th century. Um, it's the third highest building in Bruges, I think, but it's the biggest landmark. It's like the capital or the most recognizable spot. It's right in the middle of town. And we just got done climbing 330 steps. And uh, it's quite fun. Have a look.
that's the line. That's why you want to go either first thing in the morning or at the end. Okay, so let's talk Bruges. It is beautiful and amazing here. First off, the fries. So, so, so good. Derek gave you the hot tip on where to get the best fries. And he wasn't kidding. These are amazing. <clears throat> so, they eat their fries with mayo here, which I already did. I picked it up when I did a study abroad about oh, 10 years ago now. But I've loved it forever, and so I'm a big fan that they love mayo on their fries. Beer is so, so good. We actually got, we actually got a beer advent calendar, which we'll be sharing with you guys day by day, so stay tuned for that. Oh, the chocolate. Oh, the chocolate is so amazing. I realized we forgot to film when we were actually eating the chocolate because we were so <laughs> excited by the chocolate. We got a whole bunch to bring home, so we'll make sure and share that with you guys. And then uh, the waffles. Oh, the waffles. Make sure you get the waffles made fresh in front of you. If you see somewhere stacked up in the window, don't get those waffles because those are not the good waffles. You want to watch them put the dough in the waffle press and make it fresh for you. The House of Waffles is the place to get waffles. So, so good. You can actually just get a plain one and it's amazing. I got them with caramel and it's really, really good. But oh, they were just so crispy, but they're soft in the middle, they're sugary, they're just decadent. They're delicious and worth the wait. If the place has a line, get there because it's so, so good. Are you eating fries? The hotel? right there is our hotel like i said i'll link it down below so great the views are amazing amazing i mean we were right on the canal that was our view every morning so incredible and they're so nice every person we ran into here actually is incredibly nice the guy at the beer store was so helpful giving us a bunch of tips on to uh, like must sees so he was great Everyone just really really friendly here it's just a really hospitable place it's full of art we got some beautiful artwork yeah we just really enjoyed our time here we really really enjoyed our time I think it's definitely a must-see place um, we'll be coming back again we've told everyone who's planning to come visit us we've told them about it and they all want to see Bruges as well so we will not mind coming back it's just a really cool place full of really kind welcoming people and really good food so we had a wonderful time don't forget to hit that subscribe button give us the video a thumbs up if you like what you saw and follow us on instagram at our wild roots vlog and snapchat at our wild roots we'll catch you next time